Hi there! Let's go through a brief overview of some of the exciting new features and enhancements available in Jamf Pro 11.0. In Jamf Pro 11.0, the interface has been redesigned with a modern look and feel that improves clarity and ease of use. The entire interface now has larger font sizes, greater contrast between font and background colors, and adjustments to the alignment of various elements. These accessibility improvements make it easier to read text and scan information quickly when using Jamf Pro. A dedicated button for the dashboard has been added to the top of the sidebar, and the settings button has been moved from the top right corner of the page to the bottom of the sidebar. Within the dashboard, we can see our inventory information and any remaining setup tasks, along with any smart groups or patch management statuses we have chosen to show on the dashboard. In the top right of the dashboard, we have our current version number. Clicking computers, devices, or users in the sidebar reveals a submenu for each section, but the icons for the main areas of Jamf Pro remain visible on the left side of the page at all times, providing quick access from anywhere in the interface. While the updated interface brings a modern look and accessibility improvements, navigation within the submenus remains largely the same, so you won't have to worry about learning a whole new system. Be sure to check out the Jamf Pro release notes for more information about these changes, including how to navigate the interface using the Tab key. Jamf Pro 11.0 brings a slight change to the login screen by offering cloud-hosted customers quick access to the System Status page and Support page. Those with on-premise Jamf Pro instances will have a link to the support page. Jamf Pro 11.0 allows cloud-hosted instances to use the beta managed software updates feature to install macOS, iOS, and iPadOS updates on computers and mobile devices at a specific date and time. This enhancement requires macOS 14, iOS 17, or iPadOS 17 or later, and uses Apple's declarative device management protocol allowing target devices to proactively report their statuses to Jamf Pro, minimizing communication between the device and the server and creating a more reliable experience. The new OS enhancements also include the ability to more easily enforce iOS and iPadOS updates for devices that have a passcode set, provided that a user has entered their passcode when an update deadline is near. Let's navigate to Computers, Software Updates. For this example, I'm going to select my test computer group and test mobile device group, and then click Update to Selected. Under Install Action, we have the option to Download and Schedule to Install. From here, we can select a force install date and time. Under Target Version, we can select what version all eligible devices should be updated to. Once everything has been selected, click Apply to send the update command. Jamf Pro 11.0 introduces account-driven device enrollment for mobile devices running iOS 17 or iPadOS 17. This allows admins to have their users enroll institutionally owned mobile devices using managed Apple IDs, simplifying the enrollment process by avoiding enrollment URLs and manually installing downloaded profiles. Unlike account-driven user enrollment, Account-driven device enrollment gives admins greater control over the enrolled device, including the ability to remotely erase the device. Be sure to check out the Jamf Pro release notes for more information about general requirements and instructions to enable account-driven device enrollment in Jamf Pro. Jamf Pro 11.0 now allows admins to decide whether or not to collect unmanaged certificate information in Jamf Pro. Let's navigate to Settings, Computer Management, Inventory Collection. By default, Collect Unmanaged Certificates is enabled. If we leave this enabled, there is no change in computer management behavior. However, if an admin decides to deselect Collect Unmanaged Certificates, Jamf Pro updates the MDM command to only collect certificates installed by Jamf Pro. This may be helpful for organizations that use workflows outside of Jamf Pro, such as using certificates to encrypt email communications that generate thousands of return certificates. By choosing to not collect these certificates, Jamf Pro is able to gather this information more efficiently. That's it for our quick overview of Jamf Pro 11.0. Be sure to go to the Jamf Pro section of the Jamf Learning Hub at learn.jamf.com to review all of the new features and enhancements, important notices, and resolved issues. Thanks for watching.